This is the third and final video in the three-part Creating Conferences series. In this video, we'll explore the choices presented to you when you create a new conference on your system. Creating a conference from either the New Menu or New Button presents the four choices from the New Conference Picker. We have already seen what the standard conference looks like, but what are the other three choices? The important thing to note here that no matter what template you choose, you can always alter the appearance and permissions afterwards, as we saw in the second video. Let's start with the Discussion Conference option. There is nothing really special about this choice except that the default icon is different and there is a different background image applied to the List View pane. Checking the permissions, we see that the Use View from Server option has already been checked. Remember, you can choose a different icon and you can change the view properties further to meet your own specific needs. The next two options are more interesting. Let's start with the Conference with Preview option. It too has a different default icon which can be changed, but when I open the conference I see an additional column called Preview. I can adjust the columns a little to extend the Preview column. When I send a message to this conference, you'll see that the body of the message appears in the Preview column. The wider I stretch the column, the more I see. It will display the body up to a maximum of 200 characters. You can improve on this view even more by right-clicking and choosing Change View Properties, then click on the Lists tab and select Variable Height Rows, and click on OK. Now the text in the columns will wrap. The final selection is quite interesting in that when you create a conference of this type, the new conference will inherit the view properties of the conference in which it is being created. Creating on your desktop would be a mistake, as it adds an extra column numbered 8092 that would make no sense to you or your users. However, let's open the conference we created in the first video of this series and create the conference here. Notice when we open this conference it has inherited all of the view properties of the parent conference. We can move it out to the desktop and rename it and repurpose it. Notice that it has also inherited the Do Not Publish in Directory setting that were set on the original conference along with the Use View from Server setting. There is one gotcha here that you have to be aware of though. The image resources for the background are stored in the Rules folder of the original conference. If we log out flush our cache and log back in again and open the new conference first, you'll see that the images are not displayed. I have to go into the original conference first to force those images to be merged with my logged in settings file. Now when I open the second conference, the images are displayed. The lesson being learned here is that if you are going to store custom resources like images in the rules folder of a conference and you apply these same images to another conference, you had better make sure that your users open the original conference first to get those resources. The alternate solution would be to simply copy those same images to the rules folder of the new conference.